Hi, thanks for stopping by to watch me, Leah, cook kosher. Today I want to show you one more thing we can do with our babka dough. It's the same dough that we use for our babka, only this time we're going to make a yeasted coffee cake. All we need is a piece of the dough. We're going to need to melt some margarine. We're going to sprinkle it with white and brown sugars, cinnamon, golden raisins, and give it a little bit of a piping of raspberry jam. It's so simple. Let me show you how. So we're going to take our piece of dough and we're going to gently press it into a flattened circle. And with our rolling pin, we're going to go ahead and start rolling this out into about a 16 inch circle. Now, of course, I'm not using any flour on the work surface because I really want this dough to sort of stick to the countertop. Otherwise, with yeasted dough, it wants to spring back. Then we're going to take our melted margarine and we're going to brush the entire surface with that. Then we're going to take our white sugar and we're going to go ahead and sprinkle that on very liberally. Use up the whole thing. And nice and sweet. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers for the brown sugar so I can break that apart as I go. You can also feel for any hard lumps that may have formed during storage. Then we're going to sprinkle with cinnamon. Yum. Just use everything up that we have measured out. And we're going to sprinkle golden raisins on top. Then we're going to take our jam and we're going to just kind of drop spoonfuls of it about a quarter of the way up. Really makes it an amazing roll when it's sliced to have this little bit of a jam filling right there. Then we're going to just lift this edge away and fold that up just like that. Oh, so you get a little bit on your hands. That's fine. And then you're going to tuck it and roll it. And you know, you need to use a little bit of pressure, not just folding it over. You do want to kind of feel like you're getting a tight roll. And you're just going to kind of keep pulling that nice and firm and then roll it up. So we're going to take our cookie sheet. We're going to give it a good spray and we're going to gently lift up the roll. We're going to keep that fold at the bottom. And then I'm going to just brush it a little bit with the egg wash. Looking beautiful. And then I'm going to score it with that serrated knife, just like that. And that'll cause the roll to open up a little bit when it's baking. So again, we're going to set that aside, let it rise, cover it with a tea towel for about 45 minutes or so. Okay, we'll check back on that in a little bit. Okay, so this was our beautiful yeasted coffee cake. This is looking fabulous. Mmm. Yum. Look at those beautiful swirls of raspberry, golden raisins, and cinnamon. Ah, I think I found another favorite. <laughs>